Hi everyone, it's Jay from Mitosu Crafts. Thank you for joining me today for the Global Snapping Video Hop with the theme of Celebrate or Celebration 2022. So I'll be sharing a card created with the free celebration item, Awesome Authors. Um, so I'll be coloring this image here and using the sentiment there and I'll be mixing it up with the seaside seashells dyes um, and embossing the background. So you'll need basic thick white card base. Ours is just normal size, 21 centimeters by 14.6, scored and folded in half at 10.5 centimeters. This one is soft succulent cardstock, and that is only five millimeter smaller than the card front, or that is a quarter of an inch or three sixteenth of an inch if you want to have the same uh, border. You'll need a strip of Bermuda Bay cardstock. That one's um, the size of the card front and 3.5 centimeters or that is one and three eighths of an inch and you'll need that with um, the same size in pool party and coastal cabana as well and i'll be showing you how to tear it up we're just going to tear those strips up um, midi dimensional for added height for the elements and balmy blue this one we're going to die cut with the seashell dies basic white for stamping and another layer of soft succulent card stock uh, measuring seven centimeters by 7.5 or that is two and three quarters by three inches you also need a strip of another basic white for the sentiment so what we'll do is we'll start off with the coloring so for the ink you'll need memento as we'll be coloring in stamping blends markers and we are just going to ink that out. And stamp. So I'm going to use ivory and bronze, dark soft suede, and balmy blue combo. I'll start off with the ivory first. I'm gonna color in the midsection and the mouth and this way I'll be adding shading just by adding another layer on top so I do want this to dry first before adding another layer because with the stamping blends if you add the same color on top once it's when it's dry it just makes it a little bit darker so i'll wait for that to dry but whilst that's um drying i'm just gonna color in the highlights i'm just gonna add the highlights where i want them to go so on the pores and also on the around the eyes on top here where else oh the ears and mid middle of the tail and i think that is everything so i will use my dark soft suede to add sh shadows or shading on the outer edges first so I'll just really dark and then go in with the bronze for the midsection and I'm just gonna block color that you can go back in and add a bit of blending in between those 
but I'm just gonna quickly color this in. Once you've done a section, go back in with the darkest color and then blend that in between with your mid tone, which is the bronze. So I'm just gonna go around and do that. And I'm just gonna fast forward the video. For independence, I'm a demonstrator space in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from an online shop. Do use the current host code which can be found on our website at mitosocrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies. There we go, I've uh, quickly colored it. I've used the brush tip just to go over it again and add texture just by adding short uh, strokes with the brush tip and then added balmy blue for the fish. Here we go, I've plastic cut that with paper snips and whilst we have the ink cut out, I'm just gonna stamp the sentiment a couple of times on basic white thick. So one I'm gonna do there because I wanna cut this as well. So, so I'm gonna use the utterly on that one or the utterly there and then you are on there. So just cut that in. And then cut that down. And I'm going to use the utterly word just to guide where I'm going to cut. But again, with this one, I'm just making sure that the other word that I don't need are not seen. Now you can use masking technique or marker to stamp technique to do this but I'm just gonna do it this way so it's slightly faster. So this one utterly I'm gonna do this in a slight slant because of that Y is quite low but that's fine so that's now the sentiment done so I'm gonna dye emboss the soft succulent layer and you'll need silicone craft sheet for this and the sandwich for that is your base plate number one your cutting pad number three silicone craft sheet, your cardstock, and the die from Seaside Seashells. I'm going to use the big one, and I'm just going to place that in the middle, and then die cut that through with the other plate on top. So I'll just run that through the, big, the cut and emboss machine. stock should be embossed like so. Now for the balmy blue, I will use the same die and I'm just gonna die cut the top right corner there. So you will need to add your plates again, a different sandwich, which is number one, number two, your cutting at cutting plate number three, card base and card stock even, 
the tie and the number three length again. So we're gonna cut into the die cut using paper snips. So I'm gonna use dark balmy blue just to add some shading on there and I'm gonna use the balmy blue cards cardstock as the highlight. So I'm just going to, if we start off with here, I'm leaving the highlight on there and I'm just gonna color in the rest. Now we have our elements. Uh, I've gone ahead and torn these two pieces here. So I'm gonna tear this up. So probably um, five millimeters again. And I'm pulling from the bottom up or two sixteenths of an inch. And um, probably seven eighths or two inches, uh, two centimeters, and then just cut that in. I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm just tearing it up. And then doing the sides afterwards, that really tiny there. And that's probably about nine centimeters but it doesn't matter too much on the width but that looks the same uh, nine centimeters is three and a half inches so we have all of our elements now and i'm going to stick that down with multi-paper slip of glue and this one I'm gonna add onto there. Before we add that layer, we will add these on top. So kind of like eyeball it where you want it, probably centrally. And that's gonna be placed first, like this, and then second, and then third. So you just want to add glue in the middle and I'm going to slightly stagger it as well. It looks quite big, doesn't it? But that's fine. It doesn't matter. Now the second one, you can put it towards the left. See, just be aware of where your torn the tear are because that one looks better than what I'm sticking down. But never mind. So with the third one, I'm gonna put it onto there. And this one I'm just gonna add glue on the base because I want I'm going to insert the die cut. And I'm just giving that the same order on the top. If you find it's too long, you can go back in and tear it again, which I'm going to do because I think it is slightly longer than what I prefer. And I wanted it to stagger a bit more. There you go, that looks okay. 
so this one I'm just going to add mini glue dot before I add that I do have some sheer ribbon I believe it's pull party so I'm just going to add that with mini glue dot or you can use tear and tape and I'm going to add that behind the Bermuda Bay just along the base making sure that it's nice and taut and then snipping the end and this one I'm just gonna add glue dots as well it's because I do want a bit of height but not too much now on my prototype I did fold the glue dot at the back so that one is going to get inserted in here so that's why we I only added glue along the base so we're just going to add glue I wanted it slightly slanted so it doesn't match the background And then with this one, I'm going to add in there. So I do need to cut that funky shape down there. So that's going to be added with dimensionals. It's done. And I'm going to add the sentiments again with dimensionals. Add stamping dimensionals at the back of your cut up sentiment and finish off with the iridescent rhinestone base of jewels. There we go, here is my celebration 2022 card using the awesome utter stamp set mixed in with the seaside seashells dies with a bit of dye embossing torn card strips as well and coloring with stamping blends now for my original I did mix up the I turned it over the dye embossed layer one so you can see that one's actually at the bottom there which I forgot to do um, so that just kind of like omits that um, similarities with the I guess seaweed um, but it does leave give you a bit of blank space more on top so you choose and of course with my pre-colored otter I did use a bit more layering so I waited for it to dry and then just added probably four layers of um, which color was that bronze um, and ivory as well just to make it a lot darker as you can tell I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so. Check the description below for the product list as well as the link to the next video in the Global Stampin' Video Hub. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, bye!